Good evening, my friends. Praise the holy name of the Lord. Thank you for tuning into our programs. Thank you for allowing us to come into your beautiful place. Uh, wherever you're listening to, you are tuned to our program, Trinity. Timidity or Timidity, okay? Any of my friends, today is an awesome day again. We are here to proclaim the good news, okay? Good news yes. proclaimed from Los Angeles Cross Television Network. Yes, thank you. Today is a day yes. you're going to see the mighty hand of God yes. working for you and me. Yes. Mighty hand of God mm -hmm. that outstretched as a universe is working for you. Yes. And we will know who that mighty God yes. and uh, you will know there is awesomeness today. Yes. Before that, my friends, I let my sister Abina pray. Okay? Thank you. Abina, please. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, fountain of all the blessing, you're a shield, you're a redeemer, you're a provider who guides every second of our life. Oh, Thank yes, you, Lord. dear God. Thank you. Thank you, Master, for this day. We come to you as we are, Master. Thank you, yes, we Lord. We can touch every one of our dear ones who's watching us right now, Master. Thank you. Let your having blessing hand be upon them, oh, Master. Oh, yes, blessing Reach hand. We can touch them, dear God. You are a good shepherd, Master. We are your sheep. Oh, my yes. My sheep hears my voice, you've said, and I also hear them. Plant us near the river waters. Thank you, Father. To bear fruit in all seasons. Oh, Lord, you thank you. You said leaves will never be there. Oh, yes. Leaves is healing for our body, that is your healing, our mind, Lord Jesus. our soul, you. those who are going through sickness, those who are going through pain, suffering, heartache, depression, divorce. Father, we bring every one of them at this moment, dear God. You, Move that mountain standing no, before mountain. my dear brothers and sisters watching us right now, Father. Let them receive Father, the blessing them today. Receive your blessing right now, Father. Right today, today, Right master. now, right now, Master. Receive Thank your you. blessing, Lord. Father, your word is a lamp to our feet, yes. light unto our path, Master. Your word is a fire. Your oh, word yes. breaks every mountain that's oh, standing before us, Lord mountain. Jesus. Break Thank every you. mountain, Lord yes, Jesus. We agree, your word master. is a rock, Father, Father. Break every mountain of what is going around in this world, Master. Thank you, Father. We pray God. for Thank every you. one of our dear ones who's watching us, Master. Thank you, dear God. Renew every one of us, Renew Master. Renew everyone. Rejuvenate us, Father. Father, every blessing come from you alone, Master. Alone. Heal everyone, those who are watching, those who are in the hospital, every disease, Father. We bring them to you. You are a healer, Master. Yes. Thank you for your, your nail cry, Master. Let your nail pierced hand be upon every one of our dear ones. Thank you, Lord. Who is in the you. hospital, Father. Please bring them out, Lord yeah. Jesus. The virus cannot touch any one no of my one. brothers and sisters. Thank you. Father, thank you for hearing your cry, Master. Lord God, we pray for the unborn babies at this moment. Let them breathe again in the mother's womb, Lord Jesus. Father, we pray for the persecuted brothers and sisters around the globe. We pray for them, Master. Thank you, God. We pray for America. Pray for our president. Father, so much division, Lord. Unite us. Divide we fall, Master. We pray for America. We pray for our network, our CEO, our staff, and their families. Thank pray you. for my brother, Lord. Use him mightily to spread your good news, Father. There is so much bad news around, Master. Thank you, And yes, Father, Lord. use it mightily to spread your good news. Stop this violence going around, Master. We bring every situation in your loving hand, Father. Thank you, dear God. Father, thank you. I offer all this petition and thanksgiving in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. My friends, today, you're going to really see an awesome clip uh, at the end. Wait until you see. Yes. Call your friends. Inundate the media. There's only bad news and fake news. You know, please listen to us. Yes. And, you know, that's going to really lead you to something and that you have been waiting for, you're trying for. So, my friends, you know, today the Lord is really throwing this question to you. Everyone was watching today, you know, today will listen from Jeremiah and that's what is really challenging every believer, the whole body of Christ, whoever listening to me, even if you're not belongs to the body of Christ, 
I know you are on the way. You're not too far. Yeah. You are going through so much. Now we're going to tell you where you will find bread, okay? You will find where you will find strength, okay? I'll let you read Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17. It's an awesome word. I, I really lo lo I, I love that word, and I always bank on that word. You know, if Sheila's ready, come on, Sheila. Oh, sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? No. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? You are facing so many challenges and dilemmas in your life. My friends, you know, fast forward to the uh, New Testament, and you can really see the hand of God comes. And even, you know, when the New Testament people were really uh, waiting, you know, from the old, and the New Testament people are still looking for God's mighty hand to work. And even then, my friend, you know, even the young virgin, here the angel Gabriel gives this awesome good news. And, you know, I let Sheila read Luke chapter 1, verse 37. And just see, you know, my friends, is there anything too hard for the Lord again? Today, the Lord is really, you know, when you take this message, is there anything too hard? And, you know, like, yeah, here comes the hand of the Lord. You know, the one who created the entire universe is now ready to manifest his glory. But anyhow, is anything too hard? You know, when the virgin said, how this can happen? And you have uh, uh, tons of questions. You have many, many questions. I don't think so. Science, science can answer everything for you. Not the politicians, my friends. Not the, all this. Today we are, we are seeing toting, and they cannot answer all your problems. And yes, Sheila, can you please? For Look. no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant. Oh, my friends, you know, there's nothing is impossible. That's a word. Nothing is impossible with God. Yes. You know, here God's amazing glory, you know, in the womb, his fingers are now getting ready. So any of my friends, you know, let's go, uh, you know, let's go to the Old Testament because, you know, you guys have to really catch up with me. I will go to the old and the new because that's where your legacy depends on, uh, you know, this legacy, you know, the entire world and the new. You know, it says, that, you know, uh, Matthew chapter 13, verse 50 to 52, it says like the wise man bring from the old and the new and, you know, infuses who infuses that? Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit. You guys are right. Holy Spirit is the one who burns everything together and binds everything together because, you know, you're going to see, you know, how this amazing God is really working on our behalf. Now, it happened then and it's happening now. I mean, you know, you are facing so many challenges, my friends. You know, like, you, are, you have really turn to Exodus, God really reveals himself to Moses in a way he wanted to redeem his people, okay, as you, many of you know the story. If you don't know, and you have to really, you have to really uh, read chapter 3 and 4 of Exodus, you will know where the Lord is. You know, wherever you are, you know, you're under, uh, you know, you're a captive. You are a slave. You're going through so much. I mean, you know, you're in your own prison. You know, the addiction is really taken over. The curse has taken over your family. The gloom and the darkness has taken over your family. But here is, you know, God says, and he reveals himself to Moses, you know, in chapter 3, verse 18 and 19. Later on, you know, just you, have, you guys have to check this. I let you read Exodus chapter 4, verse 2 and 3. You guys read 1 to 6. I let her read 2 and 3. Then the Lord said to him, What is in your hand? A staff, he replied. The Lord said, Throw it on the ground. Moses threw it on the ground and it became a snake. Oh, my he friend. He ran from it. Yeah, he ran. And then, you know, you read further. And this, the Lord said, What is in your hand? And, you know, later on, you manifest his glory in a way. It's going to blow your mind. You have to read it. Uh, chapter 4, verse 1 to 11. Any of my friends, you know, like, you know, how the Lord is saying, Look, Moses, I've given you something in your hand. That hand 
can work marvels. So what is in your hand today? What is in our hands today? God is always asking every believers, what is in your hand that I have given? What are you going to say? The Lord has given you his power and authority. Remember his words. And you know, he has given you the authority and the power and the dominion that we lost. God gained it. Christ gained it by his passion, by his death, and by his resurrection. He gave back what you and I lost, my friends. And that's why he says, like Luke chapter 10, verse 18, 19, 20, read. You can really see, you know, how the enemy, like a lightning speed, he's come to attack you and me. And you know what? How do you really fight this enemy? How he, how in the world you and I can fight? You know, that's why, you know, like the verse 18 and 19 says what? I give you all. Come on, guys, help me. Power. I give you all the power, the dominion, the authority. Upon the serpents. Upon, yes. Serpents. Upon scorpions. the serpent, scorpions. Upon the full force, upon the full force of, of the enemy. enemy. Can you say that? Full force harm. of the enemy. Nothing will ever harm. Nothing will hurt. Any of my friends, you know, here is, you know, we what's what's going on in uh, uh, in Egypt. They're all taken captives, and God is sending uh, His chosen vessel, a prophet, a mighty prophet, a greatest prophet. Okay, a meekest prophet. Numbers chapter 12, verse 1 to 11. That great prophet shows up. He trained him, and he uh, really given him enormous strength and power you know he manifests his glory and now he says go and I go you and I your brother has to go and you know bring my people let my people go but you know what it's not uh, that easy they tried everything but anyhow plagues after plagues pestilence after pestilences because Pharaoh wanted to show his strength at the same time the hand of God. He wanted to prove the one who created the entire universe. He says he's challenging everyone. He was challenged Pharaoh that day. Today he is challenging the tyrants. He's challenging the giants. He's challenging all those people who are standing today. You know, these giants are the socialism. They come here, communism. Come on, liberalism, help me, come on. You know, the progressivism, the left progressivism, what else? The socialism, my friends, you know, the humanism, you know, and the radicalism, they're all standing as a giant today. In this country, around the world, these are the tyrants. Okay, my friends, how do we fight? How in the world are you going to fight this giant? That's where we're coming to. Anyhow. They tried to, you know, many great uh, signs God sent. Uh, did they? Did they believe? Did they believe? No. No. Pharaoh's heart was hardened. Yes. And he said, "I will never let I, you know." But at the same time, you know what? Those magicians and astrologers and the diviners, they were able to duplicate so many signs. But my friends, you know, in Exodus chapter eight. And you know, I let you read Exodus chapter 8. And there, they cannot create something living out of the dead. They, they could do only, you know, uh, so much. They can duplicate. But when it comes to the knot, they were not able to. And, uh, you know, just see, you know, what these magicians, the diviners and the astrologers say to Pharaoh. And chapter 8, verse 9 to 11. Can Sheila read that 9? The yeah. magician said to Pharaoh, This is the finger of God. But Pharaoh's heart was hard, oh. and he would not listen, just as the Lord had said. It is the finger of the Lord. We can't fight. Because it is the finger of the Lord yes. who is fighting against you, Pharaoh. Yes. But you know, you know what happened you know, later on, chapter 9, and you can really see my friends. You know, how many plagues and pestilences. Uh, the whole Egypt was in ruin. But anyhow, you know, the Lord literally wanted to manifest His glory. And He wanted to rescue His people. He will do anything. But you know what? Only thing is, you surrender to this amazing God. 
who is manifest as glory to you and me my friends you know it is vital important you know the finger of god has come to you yes. and me and the same finger of god you know later on you know after redeem the people yes. remember the finger of god is still at work yes. in uh, you know mount sinai he called moses up on the mountain mount sinai i'll let you go uh, to exodus chapter 31 you guys read it to 16 to 18 the last word and you just see what happened after he had a great conversation with moses in mount sinai again god is wanted to show his finger he wanted to show his mighty awesomeness through his hand chilla can you feel right when the lord finished speaking to moses on mount sinai he gave him two tablets of the covenant law the tablets of stone inscribed by the finger of god oh what inscribed by the finger fingers of god. of god see you know he redeemed and he said okay this is how you are to live remember when he redeemed the law of holy people of god and they have to live by this commandments we cannot emulate the world my friends any you know as you all know that they miserably failed but yet my dear friends you know god's amazing hand is still at work and, and you know i let you read you know what is this hand is all about in isaiah chapter 45 verse 12 look at the mighty hand of god that you know like you're worried about so many things and you know this is so very important my dear friends you know the the god's mighty hand need to come upon your family upon your house upon your nations upon the church we need his finger you need his hand mighty hand and just see what isaiah speaks about that it is i who who made the earth and created mankind on it wow my own hand stretched out the oh heavens i marshal their starry hosts oh my friends do you understand he mm-hmm. created you and me and the entire universe Paul readdresses that in the New Testament in Colossians chapter 1 verses 10 onwards and Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 onwards to 21 God has created and how he created through whom which finger so I'm going to come there okay the the, the Lord who come where shall I mean you know yeah don't uh, yeah don't give that secret but any anyway, you know my friends you know there God's uh, hand the finger of god is re- revealed in so many ways in, in the old testament you know i'll let you read you know remember even you know a, a pagan a king like balthasar in daniel chapter 5 verse 5 my friends you have to see you have to read it okay you guys read it you know there was a judgment upon king balthasar and you know there was a hand came from nowhere and you know what it that finger wrote on the wall and only only Joe only Daniel could able to not this Daniel only Daniel could able to interpret the dream my friends and you have to read it what if that means in chapter 5 verse uh, 23 and 24 it says like you know you have been weighed and you know you found guilty and your your nation will be divided that is the word so you can imagine the judgment of god let's really move to the new testament you know i let chila read uh you know here is a blind man oh my gosh um a blind man and a mute man i let chila read uh luke chapter 11 guys read it from 16 hours i let her read a uh, uh, 19 that one word you can really see you know jesus drives those mute and the deaf and the blind spirit and those religious leaders were they were saying the pharisees were and you are driving through bilzebub my friends it's not and you have to really see the finger of god shila can you please read that now if i drive out the demons by bilzebub by who do the followers drive them out so then they will be your judges oh my friends you see that the finger of god has come again the finger of god has come to drive those wicked spirits mm-hmm. my friends in uh, deuteronomy chapter uh, 7 was 1 to 4 and deuteronomy chapter 9 all these entities who are taken this land the promised land 
it is all the entities they're all a mighty giants they're all a demonic hordes my friends nobody could withstand nobody could fight them that's why you know the finger of god has really come yes. and the finger of god who is the finger of god right now working it is jesus christ jesus of nazareth and he is working for you and me and you know that's what he say you know a kingdom that is divided because the enemy has come to plunder and you read it my dear friends in matthew chapter 12 verse 13 you know he really literally a paralyzed man's hand was or with it in he, he, he literally heals him later on you read it of uh, further from 23 or onwards and you can really see the lord says you know i have come to destroy the works of satan and you know what it's only on the strong men you need it you need the strong men in your house in your church in your nation yes. today my dear friends we need a strong man like jesus of nazareth you know any of my friends you know you have to really see the power of this hand you know i actually read uh, david uh, chapter uh, psalm uh, chapter 8 verse 3 and see the awesome of awesome uh, ness of god and i uh, see how he stretched forth all the story uh, you know um, uh, all the hosts and the sun and the moon and the stars and he really thinks about you and me that's why you know he came to save you and me my friends from the perilous days as we are living in and Sheila can you read that when i consider your heavens the work of your fingers the moon and the stars which you have set in place what is mankind that you are mindful of them human beings that you care for them yeah my friends you know i let my director roll this it is all happen in this holy place and as you, as you watch in the tabor he revealed himself uh, you know you have a check matthew chapter 17 was 1 to 11 remember he revealed himself in his glory yes. but you know when at the same time at the end you're going to really see uh, mount moriah that leads to calvary uh, go together and i let sheila read look at what you did what i did let let let's see what we did on the whole uh, i let sheila read mark chapter 15 verse 24 to the hand that has come to save us to redeem us to heal us to bring to give us the eternal life to breathe on us to set us free from all the addiction from the bondage yes. my friends yes. and sheila can you read and it and they crucified him dividing up his clothes they cast lots to see what each would get my friends they stretch his hand and they really nailed him yes. my friends how can we do this here is this mountain and you watch this look at this the place where he paid a ransom for you and you know it is a debra moment it is a debra and barak moment i mean in you know, 900 chariot came to destroy that land you have to check that up my friends and judges chapter 4 was 1 to 11 as well as chapter 5 were 16 to 20 here is just see you know the alignment when when people of god come together when the prophet and the commander in chief come together when he hear is the mother of life coming together with the begotten son of god the god from god and light from light and true god from true god who made the entire universe here is he is hung there and you check my friends in uh, matthew chapter 27 and here is really literally he was crucified and you can see the nail pierced Na- his hands were pierced and the feet were pierced why because you and i are supposed to be in that place you and i are supposed to be nailed for our sins for our grief for all our guilt but here the cre- the creator creator god and he come and he show his awesomeness by stretching his hand and he is inviting every one of you now why delay come to him you know he's he's strong he's powerful he's awesome and he can really see my friends the omniscience upon that mountain the omnipotent and omnipresence and omnibenevolence have you heard about that 
hear what he come to do this for you and me my friends that's why you know fear not the finger of the lord has come and you know i let you read uh, john chapter 8 verse 6 and just see his mercy is come upon this world take this mercy his mercy is what new every day morning his justice is what new every day morning his healing is what new every day morning his redemption is new every day in his grace is new every day i let chila read that you know just here is a woman caught in the adultery and you know what here comes all this uh, a institution, you know, all those religious leaders, they want to stone her to death and just see what happens. He writes in the sand. Just but, see that. But Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. Oh, my friends, have you ever seen that? The finger he was trying to protect, the same finger that wrote the law. Now, with the law, he's saying, I'm not going to condemn you. You may be I mean, the worst sinner of the world is telling the mercy has come to you. The mercy has come to you. Receive that mercy. Only Christ can give you that mercy, my friends. John chapter 20, verse 20 to 25. I don't have time right now. You know, my friends, just see. You know, he said to Thomas, put your fingers. He showed his side. Put your fingers. It's me. It's me. I am your flesh of your flesh. And born of my bone, born of your bone. That's why Thomas came to India, uh, you know, Iran, Iraq, forest, you know, to proclaim the good news. It's mercy and the love of Christ. Any of Sheila has a doxology. My dear yes. ones, you heard anointed message. The mighty hand of the Lord is calling all of us for oh, the thank banquet. You. Thank you, Jesus. See you next Thank segment. you. God bless. God bless everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you for everything. <laughs>